Morning everybody, how you doing? It's breakfast time. A good night's sleep. It was actually quite cold last night, to be fair. Um, but it was it was all good. It's a nice little nice little setup over there. It's pretty early. Just getting up, making a coffee, doing some oats, get the day done right. And then we'll um, yeah we'll just cruise. We'll I mean the river's dropped heaps. Still pretty snoop dog, but um, it'll be good by tomorrow. We're gonna go up the tributary today and have a poke around up there. And, you know, I think we'll have some nice weather. It's, it's kind of cloudy and misty at the moment, but it's generally like that in the morning, so it's fine. Yeah, I'm gonna get this done and then uh, get that coffee going. That's about all I have to say. Good to go. Gonna push right out to the side and look back in because there's just a better way to spot. You stay out of the way and you actually get better visibility against that backdrop too. Looks fishy, doesn't it? It's not very difficult to spot. Big black shape on the inside there. Right, we're just gonna change over this rig a little bit from yesterday. We had a team meeting about it and we decided we'll go dry dropper, see how they react with that backdrop. How cool is that? Anyway, I'm first thing I'm going to do is take this indicator off. I'm going to lengthen out my leader uh, a few feet, and then we'll go dry fly, put a dropper off of that, a long dropper, and then um, see what they do. There we go, the light's better. We saw two fish when we got here, and they've just kind of, well, they've moved off from where they were. They won't have seen us yet. Yeah, just oh, yeah, I see him. The yeah. Rock, which is better with him the further apart. Where's his mate? He's just he's up through. No, you can see the one up further. His mate's just down in these rocks here. Yeah, so. yeah, I can see yeah. his mate. Tag ends in the hip pack. So I'll probably just lengthen that out maybe two or three feet from what I had on. Yeah, four and a half feet of 4X, seven feet of 3X. Same rig I had on yesterday, I brought other than that. I think I'm just going to put a little parachute thing on with a orange post. Be a bit easier to see in this glary kind of morning. Then we'll run some more 4x off of this. Fairly long too. I don't know, good arm's length of dropper. Should be enough. Then we're gonna chuck on a size 14 <laughs> grey thing. Take ends in the hip back. A little bit of lube on this guy. And we're away. Yeah, that's a real long lube. <laughs> All right, so old mate, it actually moved out in the flow. Okay, you're coming, 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 coming. Got him. Nice. Got it. Nice, man. Yeah, you went a long way to eat that, eh? You get out of the way. Almost. Yeah. Yeah, boy. Lovely fish, cheers man. Wicked start. Wow, man. Look at that adipose fin. Beautiful. What a clean, clean fish.
How's that for a start to the day? That was just a spectacular fish. So good, man. Well, that fish was bang on, well, eight pounds, because uh, Dean weighed him. So, you know, with a mouse or two in his belly, he'd be very close to 10. Just really cool, massive head, big shoulders, super clean. I hope it came out on here, but like a cool ready kind of tinge to the adipose fin. Ah, it's just a great fish. I'm happy, I'm stoked. And look at that backdrop. Oh, it's pretty blown out. <laughs> That's a cool backdrop. All right, uh, let's get one for Dean. Here we go, you'll see this. Moving out, moving out, yep. Oh, that's too slow. Ooh, unlucky. Uh, high in the water, just the other side of the... Oh, of wow! The oh! It's your fish. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> okay, cool. we found another fish. We spotted from the other side. We basically get to go back down, see if we cross over, come back up this side. I'm actually upstream in the bushes from the fish. And Dean's down there. One of the... One drift, I think he followed down. There we go. This is good. Coming over. Chasing, 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 chasing. We've been changing something over down there to see what Dean chucks on. Couldn't tell you because I can't tell from here. But uh, it's a good fish too. That's good. Right there. So we're gonna go one more fly change. He definitely had a couple of looks at those previous flies. He, he's still sitting there. He hasn't shut down as such. He's just not reacting much. So we're gonna do another fly change and uh, see if that does the job. Okay, so kind of fished it for a bit longer and then it's kind of shut down a little bit. So we're gonna leave it. <sighs> Tough. They just don't, well, they just don't give you any mistakes. That's okay. That's why we like these fish, and we like these rivers. Okay, so we had another shot, didn't work out. We had a little uh, mishap with a rock. Oh no! Oh. No, I don't reckon that that'll be it. I'll, have, I'll go have a look. Yep. <laughs> Made some noise and the fish just disappeared. Anyway, there's like four fish lined up over the back there. So Dean's just chucked on a heavy fly and a little trailer. Little, like a little size 16 or something off of the back of that. I'm just going to try and get down here and then pop it over and then high stick it over the back there and just, just give it a go. There's a really good fish at the top that we have got no way of getting to. I'd actually like to throw a stream up there and strip it past and see what happens. See what happens here first and then uh, if he's still there I might try that just for fun. Uh, mini sex dungeon. Let's go for that. See if he eats it. I don't really expect him to, but it'd be pretty cool if he did. Crush his barbs down. Proper. Cool. Oh! Oh man, you just went back. Oh! Would have been pretty cool to actually uh, catch that fish like that. But what was cool was just to see him light up and just go for it. It was, it was wicked.
Yeah, this is this is more like it. That's all right, that's all right, I'll get him. Yep. That was awesome. I ate the dry on the, like a second good cast and then turned out to be a much bigger fish than we both thought. And we went all the way down through that other rapid turn to the pool we just came from where that fish tried to eat my streamer. Everything from here is just a bonus. Sun's starting to come out, it's warming up. We're gonna de-layer a little bit and uh, try and get another one. Another one of those would be pretty good, eh? Okay, we're gonna have a go, just with a dry fly. And we're gonna see what he does with it. Oh, I put a couple of, you know, good enough drifts over him for him to see the fly. And if he wanted to go and have a look at it and investigate and or eat it like you could have, so I'm going to put a dropper on, small nymph, and hopefully uh, that, that does the job. So you should have seen that. Now I ate something there. Do you reckon fly change? That's good. Go the way. Oh, he's coming over. Got him. Nice. Big head. Big head. Come on, buddy. Nah, he's not ready yet. I haven't got his head even close to up once yet. Just gonna move, start moving back a little bit. Oh, ho, ho, bit of ice cream scoop. No, I didn't scoop up. No, no, I'm just giving you shit. Yeah, another good fish, son. <laughs> They're all little chunkers, aren't they? Dude, they are. Man. He is 6.8. Just a very cool fish. Right, how good was that? Just a big old bruiser. I mean, again, at one point was a bigger fish. Could you believe? Big old head, big shoulders, and just super cool. Glad, glad to manage to make that work because that was real satisfying. I kind of feel like he looked at the first fly, but then didn't eat it, so I did a fly change just to a little size 16 uh, Hoover from Cat 3, and uh, that guy seemed to do the job. Made the cast. He went out to the right, ate something else, and as he came back across, just phew, nailed it. Great stuff.
Yeah, it felt um, way warmer about 20 minutes ago, eh? All right, cool. So that was, uh, that was good, actually. We actually thought that fish had shut down, but just, what did happen? Just kind of like, just woke up oh, and yeah, ate something? Yeah, no, I just, um, just the drift. I don't know, the drift was a bit wider and he just sort of lifted up in the water. The, the, the indicator didn't go, to, which is a dry. Yeah. And I just tightened up just because he moved and he was on. So we're just going to sit down and have some lunch. There was a bigger fish ahead of him that kind of disappeared when, when we hooked up there, but he may come back while we eat lunch. If he does, we'll have a go from him. If not, then we'll just keep on pushing up. We've got some cheese, we've got some biscuits, we've got some salami. Beans even bought some relish and uh, a nice cold Chardonnay. <laughs> okay, maybe not the shard now. We're going to get to the next pool. <laughs> we'll just the have a nice big nap on the bank. <laughs> Okay, so we were just sitting down having lunch. And as we were having lunch, we saw this fish come up from this pool below. It's come up right along the edge, right next to the rocks, up through the rapids, and push up to pretty much just in front of where Dean caught his fish. And he's just kind of parked up and started feeding. So, I'm gonna try and catch him. All right, got the same rig I had on for that last fish. Just being fairly lazy. But it worked, so why bother? Why change? That's better. Coming over. Yep. Oh, it's unbelievable. Come on, baby. Come on. Oh, well. <laughs> That's okay. That's all right. Don't like him downstream. Come this way. Their head up. Oh, where goes my rod? We're okay. We're okay. We're all good. We're all good. We're not good. <laughs> Gotta get that head up somehow. Here we go. Oh no. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go! <laughs> oh. Oh, well. I thought there was a tip back. No, so well, so did I, but then um, I just saw the rest of my rod just poop. Alright, so that was a that was a really cool fish and just a just a kind of a crazy way that all worked out. But like, like I was saying, while we were eating lunch, it just kind of boosted up the edge, cruised into the pool and just started feeding. So it was really good. And then a little bit of drama as we went downstream and I snapped my rod. Didn't think I was putting that much pressure on it, but hey, maybe I dinged it with a with a fly or something. Lucky I got a spare. But a shame because I like that colour. That's why you always bring two rods with you when you come out in places like this. Otherwise, I'd be uh, real upset because the fishing's great and then I wouldn't have a rod to go. So I guess that's my tip of the day. Always have a spare rod with you.
Okay. We've got two fish here. But I've got a dark fish here, and the fish I want to catch is up there. So hopefully this guy just kind of chills, lets me do what I want without going upstream. What a mess. Ah, shit. Ah. I got everything caught in that bush, crawled over on my hands and knees to untangle it, and then spooked the fish. Oh, oh that's rage inducing. Okay, people, update. I had a couple of shots, balls them up completely. Now we're pretty much, this is, this, this is probably going to be our save for the day, this piece, eh, Dean? Yeah, it'll probably be our last piece of water here. We've got two fish up here on the inside. So I've uh, passed the torch back over to Dean and um, chucking on small dry, dropper underneath. Try and make this happen. Try and finish the day on a fish. Then we've got about an hour and a half walk back to the hut where we will, uh, hey? They have, bro, yeah. Yeah, we were talking about it on the way up that um, just after lunch, things have changed a little bit. The fish we've found that are feeding aren't quite so aggressive, and they've just been super picky. So we'll see if we can make this happen, and then uh, my mind's starting to turn to a uh, coffee and a whiskey. I don't know about you, mate. <laughs> Try single dry fly. Tricky situation, size 16, little bit of lube, can't go wrong. All right. Stay off the top. Yeah. Maybe let him a bit much. Oh. oh! Let's have a little chat about what happened there. And hopefully you can learn from my mistake. So, cast was made, fish came over, zero hesitation, slow motion, came up, ate the dry fly, I struck, boom, bust the fish off and it was gone. Now, when I checked my leader, it didn't bust anywhere near the fly. It actually broke halfway up the 3x, so way up the leader into the stronger stuff. And thinking back, I think I know why. When I got caught around that bush down there trying to catch that other fish, I got a little bit angry with it and I just kind of ripped it out. And I'm pretty sure I damaged the line then. Pretty sure that's what I did. What I should have done after that was check my leader all the way through before I fished to that fish. But I didn't because I just assumed it was going to be okay. And I shouldn't have done. And it cost me a good fish. So, 
maybe you can learn from that. If you get caught in a tree, caught in a bush, anything like that, just check your leader just before you uh, go and fish to that next fish because, you know, that might have been another good fish to the net. Anyway, we're going to break our rods down now and we're going to go that way back to the hut because there's a coffee and a whiskey waiting for us in about an hour and a half and we will catch up with you guys then. Yo, people back at the hut, coffee, maybe some whiskey in it, who's to say? Uh, into comfy clothes, drying things out, charging batteries, have some food, get an early night, and then we've got a big walk tomorrow to get to the bit of water we want to fish, and then we will hopefully have a similar kind of weather day tomorrow when the sun's out. The main river's dropped, which is awesome, it's looking good, it will drop again overnight, so it should allow us to cross and fish our way around it pretty well. Great day, this morning was great. Once we hit lunchtime, things changed. Like as we got further up, we definitely saw less fish and the fish we did see were definitely not eating as aggressively. They were more finicky, more fussy, and just, yeah, it was just tougher, tougher this afternoon. Dean managed that one fish to save the day and I lost that fish at the end, but that was all my fault and we talked about that, so. I'm gonna sign off here, just chill out for the night, not do any filming, just because oh, I'm knackered. Great to see you, thanks heaps for watching. Give me a thumbs up and drop me a comment in the comment section below and all that good stuff. I'm sorry I haven't been replying to your comments so much recently, but I've just been away and busy and just off the grid and haven't had time. I still read them all and I really appreciate you dropping those comments, so keep them coming. As always guys, have yourselves a great week. I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Yeah.